so now we switch to Coco. Here's Ripperoo right there. So brand new cinematic. This is gonna end well, right? Like, oh no, there he goes. <laughs> Love it. Oh, he races with his feet. Yep. That's great. <laughs> um, of course. <laughs> Uh, so this is one of the, the, the boss races that we were talking about before. Yes. Okay. Oh, we got so fast forward, seat. you know, so we've collected enough trophies. Mm -hmm. Now we get to, to fight him. Um, and like I was saying before, it's like for every challenge you compete, you always get a new reward. So that's different from the original uh, adventure mode, which mm -hmm. didn't have rewards uh, until the end where you would uh, complete the gem cups and unlock characters. Now we have something all the time, whether it's a sticker, a decal, a set of wheels, a body, so you can customize your experience as you're unlocking items. Yeah. Yeah, keep some some breadcrumbs along the trail. And yes. What I love about this too is like you get to know Ripper through the animation, the the intro cinematic, and then like you probably grow to to hate him a little bit when you're <laughs> racing against it, but then you unlock yep. him, so you feel this extra connection. And and you know if you're playing Nitro Fuel, um, you know, like that that adventure mode, um, then you could just switch over to him and, and yeah. play with him right away if you want. Exactly. So in the original game, you couldn't Ooh. play as Ripper Roo until the end of the adventure <laughs> mode. Here we made the slight change, so when you beat the boss, you'll get to unlock him, which uh, we thought was making sense, which we thought was more rewarding uh, in the way uh, you know the progression system was working. Now we're in Ripper Roo's level, so Roo's tubes, and uh, this is a boss fight, and it's a totally unfair race. I, I mean, was he's about to say. <laughs> he's just like dropping TNT crates yeah. like they're free, and exactly. So he's got unlimited supplies of TNT crates. And every boss will throw something different at you, whether it's beakers or boxes. Oxide throws everything. And uh, so here, what you need to do is win, uh, although it's an unfair race. Uh, so you got to make sure that you stay in the front. Uh, otherwise, you need to dodge all those boxes yeah. uh, and uh, complete the, you know, and, and pass first at the finish line. So I uh, dish out enough damage so he can't get ahead of you and drop those crates yep. and then, you know, eventually secure first place because that's what it's all about, obviously. So Exactly. Um, so you need to make smart use of the power-ups you collect, uh, missiles or bombs or everything. Uh, and, Ooh. you know, it's uh, it can take a few a few shots. Yeah, uh, you definitely want to you know, hop around a little bit. Definitely when not you have an those... easy race. Yeah. Yeah, the, the TNT uh, crates, like you were saying, Kristen. You like, can hop and get them off, yeah. Like five or six hops, and you can you can shake it off, which seems pivotal for this yes. race. Yeah. yeah. And Ripper Roo, talking about, like, the way we decided to set dress the environments, uh, you know, we definitely wanted to push, like, the... Uh, underground aquatic yeah. uh, quality. So we've added a lot of uh, fish and you and know like the whales mines. and the mines are yeah. floating. Uh, a lot of uh, you know uh, plants, underwater plants. And now we won. Yeah. So awesome. that's a good thing. Uh, and now we'll have a brand new cinematic as well, a little bit different from the original game. Nice. Because you know the the ultimate goal is to take on Oxide, right? Yes. So that's that's the final objective. So you got to take out these guys on the way. <laughs> <laughs> Coco's just like, what's just going on like, here? Yeah. Uh, woof. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you had the key all along. <laughs> so th th these are the things that we wanted to do a little bit differently. Present the bosses in a context that would just like set their personality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, you know, the original one was a great game, but it was just like kind of a static image of the character in, in its cart. Uh, now we have this opportunity to really push the cinematic qualities. And here, uh, something different uh, in the way we present the adventure mode. Now we have a key opening up the door. You understand that you've just opened up a new area. Nice. That's great. Yeah, more places to explore and, yes. and races to take on and bosses to battle. Excellent. And then, yeah. like I was saying, now we've unlocked Ripperoo. But not only Ripperoo, we've also unlocked his color scheme because he was driving an orange cart. Right. Uh, and then we will also unlock Ripperoo's sticker, which you can put on your cart if you like Ripperoo a lot. <laughs> well, who, how could you how not? Could you not? Yeah. How could Look you not? Look at that face. <laughs> <laughs> a, a face, you know, a, a mother could love, but also <laughs> I, I, I love it too. So, um, Okay. And, oh, there's the paint job. Okay. Yeah. So there's a lot of things to unlock. So like, every time, and then you can go right to the customization menu go ahead, if you really right wanted to just like start racing with Ripperoo right away.